Today we are going to learn Gauss Seidel method. In Gauss Seidel method, you will get equations to solve and you have to find the values of the variables. That is what we are doing in Gauss Seidel method. Okay. So in this case, first you have to create the coefficient matrix. Okay. And from that, you have to check whether it is diagonally dominant or not. That is the first step what you have to do. That is get the coefficient matrix and check whether it is diagonally dominant. So here, see this is an example. This is a, a coefficient matrix. And from here, you have to check whether A11, that is first row, first element, A11, greater than or equal to a12, first row, second element, plus a13, that is first row, third element, modulus of absolute value, that is a sign we are not considering. Okay, so that is you have to check a11 greater than or equal to a12 plus a13, you have to check it. See here in this example, a11 is 3 plus 3, Right, greater than or equal to, we are checking it, minus 2, that is the second element, and plus 1 is the third element. You are checking it, and if it is greater than or equal to, then this is okay. Okay, then next, A22, absolute value of A22, greater than or equal to A21 plus A23. Here, you have to concentrate in this, so that is first so you have to concentrate in the first element, second, second element, and in the third case, third row, third element, right? See here, A33 greater than or equal to A31 plus A32. So you have to check it out. So if this is not okay, then you can shuffle the equations. That is the first equation can be made as second, third, and, um, and so on. Second can be made first or third. Third can be made first or second so that it should be diagonally dominant. That is first you have to do. Okay, now, this is a question for you. Solve the equation. Here, this is the equation. 27x plus 6y minus z is equal to 85. 6x plus 15y minus 2z is equal to 72. x plus y plus 54z is equal to 110. So this is diagonally dominant because 27 is greater than or equal to 6 plus 1. 15 is greater than 6 plus 2. 54 is greater than 1 plus 1. See, this is okay. Now what you have to do is, from the first equation, take the value of x. Normal method. That is, take x in one side and others in other side. Then from the second equation, find the value of y. And third equation, find the value of z. Right? That is three equations. From the first, first you check diagonally dominant or not. If it is not, shuffle the equations and make it di diagonally dominant. Then from the first one, find the value of x. That is the first variable. Next y and next z. Okay. Now, for solution, here the technique we are using is iteration method. So, find the initial, um, put the initial values as x0, that is the first one as first initial iteration, basic iteration. x0 is equal to 0, y0 is equal to 0, and z0 is equal to 0. Substitute like this. Then come to the first iteration, x1. Okay, x1, y1, and z1. This is the first iteration. So for x1, we know that x value is this one. x is equal to 1 by 27 into 85 minus 6y plus z. This is the value of x. Okay, now substitute for y. Here y is there and here z is there. For this, substitute 0 and 0. See this? Okay, and you will get 3.15. Now find y1. 
y1 equation is y equation is this one y is equal to 1 by 15 into 72 minus 6x plus 2 is said. Now here for this x see this the last value for x is 3.15 so substitute 3.15 there okay which is the last identified value for the variables that we have to substitute okay here the last value is the latest value is 3.15 so substitute the latest value 3.15 and for the latest value of z it is the same zero now you got 3.54 now come to z the formula is this one z is equal to 1 by 54 into 110 minus x minus y so the latest value of x is 3.15 right take this and for y it is 3.54 see substitute that is, which is the latest value for of the variable, substitute it in the uh, upcoming equations and solve it. Now, after first iteration, got x as 3.15, is uh, y as 3.54, and z as 1.91. Now, come to the second iteration. Again, the same formula. Here, the latest value of x is 3.15, and z is 1.91. You get like this. And next is for y, now the latest value of x is 2.43. See here x, latest value is 2.43. And for z, the same previous value, you will get like this. Now for finding the value of z, z is equal to 1 by 54 into 110 minus x minus y. Now the latest value of x is 2.43. And y is 3.57. Okay. Now you get 1.93. Now come to the sec third iteration. While calculation, you will get 2.43, 3.57 and 1.93. Now in each case, you have to check the values of x, y and z in the consecutive iterations. So when it becomes 0, that is, or some error, a less point you can mark. Okay. So, when they are almost similar, you can conclude the iterations and you can find, you will get the values of x, y and z. Now, for the second iteration, the same value you got, x2 as 2.43, y2 as 3.57 and z2 as uh, 1.93. Now, values of the second and the third iteration became same. So, you can conclude roots are 2.43, 3.57 and 1.93. You have to check, you have to identify whether the values of the variables are similar in two consecutive iterations. When they become similar, you can stop the calculation and you can write the answers of the variables. Okay, so this is a simple method that is fine. First you find uh, whether it is diagonally dominant or not. If it is not, make it as diagonally dominant by shuffling the equations and then uh, find the value of x, y and z from each equation. From the first equation, find the value of x, second one y and the third one z. If it is, uh, in sum it is x1 like that, x1, y1, z1, so go like that. How it is given in the equation? So extract the particular variables and then you have to find uh, the iteration values for that the initial value you set as 0 and then with the help of that 0 values come to the first iteration find the value. Just remember that always you put the latest value of the variables in each iterations. So when in the consecutive iterations the values become same you can conclude the roots are and you can get the values of x, y and z. Okay. Hope it is clear for you. Thank you.